out upgrade me. Luckily, I have a bigger army. I don't know why he got a phoenix. I'm not... Honestly... Oh, what am I saying? Yes, I do know. I So he could gain... Uh, that, I mean, I don't know what happens in this game. Because I didn't play it or anything. And I won't tell you what happens. So I warp in five more uh, stalkers. To buttress my army size. So now it is 13 stalkers, 3 immortals, and 8 zealots. To 2 immortals, 1 colossus, 10 stalkers, and 1 phoenix. With 46 probes to 23. Very interesting, and the resources do reflect it. Anyway, so I am at 107, and he is moving out, and I do see this. I don't see this, I, I see them. And I realize they're coming up at... Oh, what am I saying? I saw both of them. And I know these guys are coming over here, and these guys are coming over here, so I intercept these guys alone and take them out with relative ease. However, these guys walk up immediately as soon as I do that. And the Phoenix was so he could gain sight up here and then blink his stalkers in, and I was slow getting out my probes at the time, so he killed a ton with his uh, Colossus. One more spray of that Colossus would have killed five probes. But anyway, so I am moving my stuff in, just slaughters his army, just murders everything. And I have two observers sitting up here like nothing, so it would have been even better. And I wouldn't have lost so many units uh, if that hadn't happened. I am getting out shields upgrade level 1. And um, not chroma boosting that out quite yet because I am in slight disarray after that attack. Move my army back over here. Now this is when I was just completely fail. I knew I probably should have moved out here. But I still wasn't sure what he had back here. So I don't move out, much to my regret, because I could have won this game much earlier. Uh, he's fairly saturating this expansion. Another Colossus is out, one Stalker, but that's that's it. I have freaking, you know, uh, 12 Stalkers to his one, and to his one Colossus. I don't know, but I think 11 Zealots and 3 Immortals can take on a Colossus. I am not sure, but I think so. Warp in some more zealots because I have a tad a ton of minerals. Uh, throw down tons, uh, two pylons and four cannons over here, and throw down an expansion over here. I figure it's pretty safe to expand at this point, but I don't want to expand up here because it's just a nightmare putting my units that far out to defend. This way, um, these are supposed to defend it, and these cannons will give my force time to get out here. So I'm getting out that. Expansion. I say it's, it's nice to play a fellow non cheesing Protoss because I've just been playing so many cheesy Protosses lately and I just I just hate it so much and I yeah I just hate it so much. She's like lol well thank you. Um, anyway so 43 probes to his 29. He does have a void right now which I don't think will work pretty well but um, anyway he has it and um I don't, I don't actually fight the Void Ray, so he pro he's probably killed by these cannons or something. But um, anyway, so 7 Stalkers to 7 Stalkers, 4 Immortals to 2 Colossus, and 20 Zolots, they can't fight for it, 2 7 Stalkers, let's switch that up, 17 to 1, and... And I do get out another Observer, just in case he goes Dark Templar, because I do want to protect her with my army. So, I do have that out. Getting out uh, Upgrade Ground Weapons, level 2. Actually, before my uh, armor upgrade, which, um, I don't know, I do that on a whim. There's no particular reason why. Warp in more stuff. I realize there isn't much room over here, so I actually move these guys over here a little more next time. Um, I do have blink and charge for both my stalkers and my zealots, respectively. Yeah, I said that right. Uh, so this is just to give me more room to warp in units. And this is, the, this is something I noticed when watching this replay. So he never gets warp gates. Never, in the entire game, gets does he get warp gates? None. He just keeps queuing up his units. This leads me to believe he doesn't know about warp gates, which leads me to believe how is he this decent a uh, Protoss and not know about warp gates? But um, anyway, so he has four uh, Colossus, this many, yeah, four Colossus, ten Sockers, one Void Ray, etc. Um, he does somehow not see this. You'll see what I mean by how did he not see it, but anyway, so I am saturating this up, putting out probes. He moves his uh, Stalker Force over here and moves his Colossus up here. I, I think he expected my Force to be up here, and it wasn't. So I do see these guys by my Protoss, so I throw up some cannons and another pylon. So I do actually throw up all of these cannons, and you'll see why that was actually... I don't know why he delayed attacking me. 
because I guess he really did think my full force was up here when it wasn't. But anyway, so I see, do see those stalkers, so I do move my entire force out of there of 31 zealots, 5 mortals, and 17 stalkers. This, all the while, this expansion is kind of getting saturated, and I do attack this group of stalkers. As I'm doing that, his uh, Colossus move in right now. So yeah, so yeah, the Void Ray was like the first thing taken out by my cannons. Um, all these cannons going up, taking out, uh, they do take out one, uh, what's it called, one Colossus, and I, my guys are finally running in here, so I do actually manage to take out his entire army with nothing but, um, some cannons and losing, like, nothing. So his unit's loss to my unit's loss at this point is astronomically different. He has 9,300 resources lost to me, and I have 2,500 lost to him. So I do <laughs> overcome my tibidity factor and move up, but I don't go into the front door, which I'm assuming he has barred and has his front force there. I actually go around through this expansion and bust in through the back here, which you'll see. And yes, I busted in through the back. Um, uh, fairly well saturated. This is probably still actually saturated. But I am still getting out these um, upgrades. I'm now on to ground weapons level 3. I did get out of Dark Shrine and forgot to work in Dark Templars to add to my army. He actually, he just would have gotten some nice scouting off here, but doesn't. And instead gets some cannons to the base without seeing that my force is entirely up here. I did pause to add some zealots to my army, but not much. So I do move in here. I expect to see a pylon or something to spot my units if I did just this. And I was disappointed because there wasn't. So my units are all right here. Uh, he's got three colossus and a certain amount of stalkers, which I'm not going to bother looking up. And my entire force comes in from the backside, takes out his nexus like nobody's business like that, not actually dead, I don't know how I managed that, but yeah, so his uh, Colossus are right here, and I'm not sure, I do take down those two, but all I see are more units coming down and another Colossus up here, so I do decide to back out even when I could have taken him out, and I was hoping to draw him out over here, where I could easily, my uh, Zealots could easily get to whatever units he had, but um, I, I didn't end up doing that, and I did actually back out after that with leaving him his nexus, which I am just hitting myself in the head because I thought that was gone. So he is getting out ground weapons level 2, so his units are 101 at the moment, while mine are 112, so that's quite the uh, upgrade discrepancy in my favor. I have 3,600 extra minerals. I warp in DTs right now. Those are not DTs. Anyway, so um, still getting out that, I uh, have my Dark Shrine, I'm waiting for this to cool down, um, yeah, so, yeah, um, he actually moves his entire force over here in preparation of attacking this expansion, I don't know why he thinks that's a priority, um, but for whatever reason, I do actually run up the front here after getting, uh, my force together from this slow trickle, so I get it all together and head on up. Little did I know his comparatively small force was over here. However, that is enough to take on three cannons. So, um, so uh, yeah, he attacks me while I'm just storming his base and taking out everything inside. Uh, he is the Stargate that he used for one Void Ray and never used again. He has all of these idle SCVs, which is just horrible. You don't want to have idle SCVs. You never want to have idle SCVs. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm just co coming in, killing all these people. I realize if he's attacking here and realize my army's at his base, he's probably going to go straight to my home base and my production facilities. And I was right, but I thought it was more important to take out out here first, because I knew, well, I could easily recover with not... Uh, well, I could easily recover with the... 5,000-something minerals I have, I knew he couldn't recover off of just this. Or at least I would easily be able to take it out. So I am moving my guys back over here. Uh, although he is indeed um, walking in, he's going to take out all these guys. But what he doesn't know, and what I think was kind of clever, is because I knew he didn't have an observer with his army, 
However, I also know he didn't have cannons, so what did I do? I warped in some DTs just for the express purpose of defending my bit base slightly before the rest of my army. So, um, yeah, I guys walk in. I actually have my DTs chop down the Colossus first. And these Blink Stalkers were so annoying because they could just go into the back of my base and attack my pylon. And, uh, yeah, so it's basically endgame now. I leave most of my army back here and just have these guys. So if they don't have sight, I think he forgot that they can't blink out. So, uh, yeah, my entire army is just storming him entirely. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much GG at this point. Uh, <laughs> he says, um... Well, I think you win, lol. Um, one, lol. Uh, yeah, so, I'm like, what the heck? I won when I took out your base. But anyway, so, GG, GG. That's the end of the game, guys. Thanks for watching. And, um, click the annotation at the top right to watch the next StarCraft 2 video. Click the annotation at the top left to watch the previous StarCraft 2 video. Thanks for watching again, and have a nice day.